Let's check out this watt cycle battery. This is a 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium. And I'm not really sure what size it is. Looks like it's probably maybe a group 31. All right, we got a watt cycle card, user's manual. Got four terminal bolts and a couple of caps. 1280 watt hours, group 31, LifePo 4. I do like the plastic caps and they give you a couple of extras. Looks like a short set and a longer set of the uh, terminal bolts. Let's look in the manual and see what it tells us. IP67 rated, UL94V-0 fireproof. So standard and maximum charge. Standard is 20 amps, 100 amps maximum. Maximum continuous discharge, 100 amps. Looks like it weighs 23.15 pounds. 10.24 by 6.61 by 8.23 on dimensions. They say it's shipped at 50%, so we'll check that here in just a second. Four parallel max and four series max. There's the schematic for connections. All right, let's check the voltage. 13.19 volts and it does have the plastic caps on the terminals on both sides nice so we'll use the watt cycle 12 volt 20 amp charger to bring this 100 amp hour pro up to full charge and then we'll set it up to do a discharge capacity test see if we can get the 100 amp hours out of the battery and we're fully charged 13.62 volts. So we're sitting at 13.6 volts. I've got the meter zeroed out and we'll get that started. So we're pulling 11 amps for the next nine and a half, 10 hours. And we'll come back when it finishes. We'll see where we're at on the capacity. We've got 101.53 amp hours. It's actually still going 1274 watt hours. I would say that it meets the capacity of at least 100 amp hours in the battery. So I'll get it all charged back up and then we'll do some discharge testing. Now in this manual that came with this 100 amp hour Pro Group 31 battery, it states that the uh, maximum discharge is 100 amps continuous. But this doesn't say Pro. I looked on the website and it shows this Pro having 110 amp BMS. So I'm a little bit confused about that, but we'll test it. We're going to put a load on it. I've got it connected to a 1500 watt alpha inverter, a timer set up here, and then the induction cooktop with a pan of water on it. And we'll get this thing going and cranked up while that's coming on and everything's getting wound up. I'll put links for this battery in the description along with all these other items if you're interested in checking any of them out. But if you go to the WattCycle website and check out this battery or any battery for that matter, right now they're running some huge sales. And this one was uh, 30 or 38 percent off I believe it was. But they were limited on stock so if you're interested in picking up one or two of these go have a look at it before it's too late. That's the LifePo4 Group 31 Pro 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. All right, let's get this turned on. We'll just go with medium for starters. So I got 94 amps right now. Let's put it on high. All right, that's gonna give us 117, 118, roughly right around in there. This meter is showing 112 on the shunt that I have. Let's start that timer. 118. So even if it is 110 amp BMS, this will be a pretty good test. We'll run it for five minutes and we'll just see how it does. See if we can get some water boiling in five minutes. All right, there's five minutes at 120 amps. So it will definitely put out the power. 
and uh, I can't stress that enough they're limited on quantity so go check out the website links in the description real good sale going on on these right now and these are a drop-in replacement for most RVs or motorhomes or even just a camper uh, be a great battery for an application like that in my opinion click the video on the screen now for another video and we'll see you over there got that water bowl in now too <laughs>